a great block for using up all your scraps and making a scrappy quilt. It's called Jewel Box and it's 12 inch finished. And I, th I think it's called Jewel Box because originally they used a lot of jewel, jewel colors. But I, I think anything goes as long as it's got a good contrast between the dark and the light. And here's the diagram. It's just made up of half square triangles and four patch units. The half square triangles will finish at three inches. Here's the cutting instructions and here's the AccuQuilt dies you can use. And the squares finish at one and a half inches. They're cut two inches. And for the half square triangles, you'll need eight patches of the, the background and eight assorted patches for the, the accent fabric. For the squares, you'll need 16 of the light and 16 of the assorted. I went through my scrap bag and we're working right now, whatever date this has been released, on the half square triangles so long so I had a lot of leftover half square triangles because I always make more than I need. Now, And these were done with low volume prints. Let me zoom into it. So you can see these low volume prints for the light fabric. The, my squares are going to be white tone on tone. But I used these half square triangles because I had them. These tone on tones don't match. Some of them are a different fabric, but they're all white. They don't have to be all white in the same color. They could be low volume prints as well. Use what you have in your scrap bin if you want. And these were left over from the Streak of Lightning quilt. And they were two and a half inches and I trimmed them all down to two inches. Since the half square triangles are already made, all I need to do is make my four patch units. Now all my four patches are finished and I've got the block laid out how I like it. And I wanted to tell you something before we went on. If you are going to do an entire quilt out of this block and you're going to use your scraps, you don't have to cut individual pieces, individual squares to make your four patches. If you take a light strip and a dark, dark strip, and they don't even have to be full strips, they can be partial strips, so use up your scraps. If they're two and a half inches, then cut them down to two inches. Sew them together, press the seam, and then cut them up into two inch segments. And then do that with a lot of strips and mix them up, and so you'll have different color combinations for your four patches. I thought I would just throw that in in case you're wanting to use up some of your strips, your scrap strips. So now I'm going to sew this block together and it will be finished. Mm -hmm. 